the solution. In the number of the KLS 2017 Julie question paper, and the question 11 are the area between one knock of the curve y equal to cos 4x and x axis. You see it in the concept y equal to cos 4x and x axis. In the area, you can do it again. Now, we definitely of the curve between a successive zero crossing and a continuum. Successive zero crossing the curve, curve x axis is the current point. If it is cos 4x, its frequency is 4 times of cos 6. Therefore, the appropriate lower and upper limit is minus pi by 8 and phi by 8. Therefore, area under the curve is equal to integral minus pi by 8 into cos 4x dx. Integral of cos 4x is 1 by 4 into sin 4x within the limits minus pi by 8 to pi by 8. We will limit apply So, 1 by 4 into sin pi by 2 minus sin of minus pi by 2. We will sin of minus x is minus sin x. Therefore, this is equal to 1 by 4 into 1 plus 1 that is equal to 1 by 2. So, we will answer option C. Next question, question 12. A fair die is tossed twice the price, the probability that 3 turns up at least once. If we use it in a concept to find probability of at least once the choice, we will first the probability of nothing. And we will one subtract that is probability of at least once, 1 minus probability of none. Therefore, probability that 3 turns up at least once equal to 1 minus probability of no 3 in both toss probability of no 3 in 1 toss is equal to 5 by 6 so therefore this is equal to 1 minus 5 by 6 into 5 by 6 if we end the loss 5 by 6 into 5 by 6 that is equal to 1 minus 25 by 36 equal to 36 minus 25 by 36 that is equal to 11 by 36 so we have option B correct Next question, question 14. Let a n is equal to square root of n square plus 5 n plus 1 divided by n square plus 3 n plus 1. Then limit n tends to infinity a n equal to. Kariyam, limit n tends to infinity a n is equal to limit n tends to infinity square root of n square plus 5 n plus 1 divided by n square plus 3 n plus 1. Ibrahe number numerator and denominator name highest power of n which is divided in the highest power n square and so n square is divided that is equal to limit n tends to infinity square root of n square plus 5 n plus 1 divided by n square divided by n square plus 3 n plus 1 by n square that is equal to limit n tends to infinity square root of 1 plus 5 by n plus 1 by n square divided by 1 plus 3 by n plus 1 by n square. Now, we have limit n tends to infinity 1 by n is equal to 0. Similarly, limit n tends to infinity 1 by n square equal to 0. Now, so, if we have limit apply to this term 0, e term 0, e term 0, e term 0. Now, we have the square root of 1 by n. That is equal to 1. So, we have answer option B. Next question 15 on it. Limit x tends to 0, x sin 1 by x in the value on a country. You say the concept is sin x in the area lies between minus closed interval minus 1 to 1. Therefore, similarly, minus 1 less than or equal to sin 1 by x less than or equal to 1. If we have x which you multiply g on e inequality, so therefore minus x less than or equal to x sin 1 by x less than or equal to x. If we have limit x tends to 0, apply g and so limit x tends to 0 minus x less than or equal to limit x tends to 0 x sin 1 by x less than or equal to limit x tends to 0 x now we can limit x tends to 0 x which is 0 and therefore 0 less than or equal to limit x tends to 0 x sin 1 by x less than or equal to 0 therefore limit x tends to 0 x sin 1 by x equal to 0 now we can answer option a and next question 26 let gamma be the circle mod z equal to 2 then 1 by 2 pi i integral over gamma sin z by z minus pi by 2 d z. E integral the value on the number can do it. You see the concept Cauchy integral form the you see the That is, if f is a function from u to c is analytic and gamma is a circle contained in u, then for any a in the disk bounded by gamma, f of a in the bar 1 by 2 pi i integral over gamma f of z divided by z minus a dz. 
singular point is denominator equal to 0 equity so z minus pi by 2 equal to 0 so z equal to pi by 2 but mod z is less than 2 that implies pi by 2 lies inside circle then we use cauchy integral formula therefore 1 by 2 pi i integral over gamma is equal to sin z dz divided by z minus pi by 2 that is equal to 1 by 2 pi i into 2 pi i into f of pi by 2 if f of is in one sin is done so that is equal to 1 by 2 pi i into pi i into sin of pi by 2 sin pi by 2 number 1 therefore number option b is correct